speaker when the ratio of Republicans to Democrats was 76 to 74. Since that time, with a great deal of support and help from him, Republicans have grown to or ne near a supermajority. Despite having passed very conservative legislation, this has become an ugly Republican versus Republican issue every session. Are you ready to say how you will vote for Speaker of the Texas House? I am not committed to that decision today, and I'll tell you why. Because number one, I don't know who, I actually don't know if Joe Strauss is gonna win his primary, number one. Uh, and number two, I don't know what the makeup of the legislature is likely to be. And number three, very early in this election cycle, I made a, a public pledge that I would not publicly say how I would vote until after December the 1st of 2016. But I will tell you this much, I'm committed to electing the most conservative speaker that we can elect, and I don't know who that is. But I am somebody who believes that you don't attack the king unless you can kill the king. So what I'm not going to do is I'm not gonna go up there and throw my district away and throw my vote away and be one of a handful of people that oppose somebody who's holding all the cards. Because that doesn't make any sense, it doesn't serve the district, it doesn't serve the cause of conservatism very well. When I choose a time and a place to choose a new speaker of the house, it will be like General Sam Houston and we will pick a place and a time and a battlefield that we can win. Thank you. Okay, the short answer is no. The long answer is we know that Joe Strauss is in a difficult race right now because he finally has someone challenging him on his own home turf in San Antonio, but he will more than likely be back in the legislature next session. And if he's there, there will be a handful of us that have heard from our constituents, the people of our community. It doesn't matter what I want. It doesn't matter what you want. It matters what the community wants. And this community has been speaking very loudly. They want a representative that will represent them in what they want. And this community does not want a state representative to continue to vote for Joe Strauss. So if Joe Strauss is the nominee, I will stand firm with my community and I will not vote for him. Is it a trade-off? Will I not, uh, miss out on getting a plum position on a committee? Probably, but that's okay because I'm not there to represent myself. I'm there to represent my community.